Hey oh my Planet Zoo friends, Johnny5 alive here. Welcome back to some more Planet Zoo. We got a lot of updates and cool things to go over in today's episode, so let's get right on into it. So in the last video, you guys must have saw me go bankrupt. Our zoo was a failure. Uh, want, want, want. Lots of things went wrong that we uh, needed to improve on, so that's what this episode is all about. I have started a new zoo. And I've made some improvements and check this out. We are making a profit. Well, this is a brand new month. It's uh, just starting to roll over now, but I was down to zero dollars and I'm now at 6,000. So we do have a profitable zoo going here and I kind of want to go over some of the do's and don'ts and what would have went wrong in the last uh, zoo and what I've done to improve upon that and also give you guys a tour. So let's start with the tour. I mean, it's a very similar layout to the last one. We just have a few shops as soon as you come in. We have our staff buildings down to one side. Now, unfortunately, I had a little bit of a problem where I just didn't give myself quite enough space for the long buildings, the two wide. So this one had to go to the side here. This one had to get turned sideways. Just a, a small problem with the planning there, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, found some neat, interesting things about the the, uh, guests, the buildings here and how the guests respond to them. So the guests do not like seeing staff buildings, but they're, uh, you, can, you can see like a grid here and they're nicely tucked away. So we have a water thing here as well as a, uh, what is this? What is this? A keeper hut. I don't think I need two keeper huts, but there, this keeper hut's here for uh, any of the, the keepers that need to tend to these animals. So yeah, what I did here is I made a perfect circle quite proud of that <laughs> I did that with 15 degree angle snap uh, and just kind of moved it around and we made a nice little circle here so coming on into the park we have our I didn't do the bears on the right this time because there were none available but I did have the wolves available so we went with the wolves this time around so lots of viewing area around this and here we go we have a whole lot of wolves one two or the rest what <gasps> Three, four. Could have sworn I had like five or six. So I made them a cave, but looks like they want. There's a fifth one. They prefer using the house for some reason. They were complaining. Then now they do keep getting injured. One thing that's interesting about the wolves, they have to establish who the alpha male is and the alpha female. So we do have a couple males, like a, a bunch of females. And they're just trying to establish who's the alpha in the pack. So they will fight. Now, having said that, I don't think it's good to start with these types of animals. He's taking a big dookie. It's not good to start with, like, wolves and bears. I mean, two bears is fine. But the bunch of wolves, I mean, it's going to rack up your medical bill. Because they're going to be fighting so much, establishing who the, uh, who the alpha is. And that's going to cause some damage to your bills. So... Start small with the gentle animals, I would say. Now, I did run into some issues because if we go to the Zoopedia... Actually, you know, I'm going to keep it on play mode because we're making money. If we go to the Zoopedia, Timberwolf. Now, you can see here it says the Timberwolf needs roughly 1,100 square meters. Now, this isn't very helpful because it's like, is that per wolf? So, I made a perfect pen and you can almost see the remnants of the old border based on like here it, it was like squared off here and it came back in here this was the starting size of it and it was perfect they loved it but then as i added more and more they were complaining about the size so now if we look at them see it doesn't say 1100 it says 1500 and we just met that requirement 1500 out of 1500 so they're it's a perfect size for this many wolves but what's interesting is it's not 1100 per wolf and it's not necessarily I mean, we have five wolves in here, so it's like it's 1100 per wolf plus another hundred square feet for each wolf that you add. But that's an arbitrary guess because I have it's supposed to be 1100, but I have five wolves. It's 1500. So all I can say is about each additional wolf is another hundred square meters. So what happens when they need cubs? Uh, so I was getting quite frustrated when I was building this because I built it and then I made it bigger and then I made it bigger And now this is where we're left at but I'm afraid to add any more because they're gonna start wanting it bigger And if you're ever expanding this thing and constantly expanding your borders every time you do something You're never really set so it would be nice to have a formula to calculate how much 
per wolf rather than like it's 1100 for a wolf and then you you know it doesn't really make sense so it looks like we need a mechanic over here call the mechanic that's not good we don't want our that to explode and then our water to go dirty so no more dirty water this time around because we have a proper water purifier so that's good uh yeah and then what i did over here was i made this like nice hedge circle i was loving this area and i wanted to do a little pond in the center with these turtles now I figure turtles like water, but apparently they don't. They're not using this water at all. They're just doing slaps around this thing like it's freaking Mario Go-Kart. Yoshi's Island Circuit here. Look at them go, just racing along. I don't know. I researched ball. This guy really likes just chomping on his ball. Chomp. It looks like he's chomping on the grass, but apparently turtles play with balls. So that's a thing. <laughs> So these freaking sheltered turtles, and I mean that quite literally, they were unhappy with the amount of hard shelter. What do you mean hard shelter? Don't they have a hard shelter on their back? I don't understand it. I've never, uh, turtles like shelter, okay? So I built th one of these and it wasn't enough. And I built two more. So I have three shelters, a giant tree, and they're still not happy with the amount of shelter. And I'm like, screw it, you know, I'm not gonna make any more. And, uh, you know, uh, if there wasn't a pond in the center, I'd probably do like a circular gazebo. That would probably be aesthetically more pleasing. So maybe we'll come back and update this later. I will just delete the water, uh, flatten it out, make a nice circular gazebo of some sort. Um, because yeah, these three little buildings are a little bit of an eyesore, but the guests could still see through them. But yeah, that's not enough shelter. So apparently turtles just need houses. So, uh, Maybe that's more of an indoor thing. Something to keep in mind. Again, we're coming back at Planet Zoo for a better uh, a better stab at things, and we're still making mistakes. We're still learning. So, again, learn from my, mis my mistakes, but things are going a lot better this time around on our second zoo. So, I'm happy with the turtle thing. We have um, speakers all around, uh, in information boards donation things so it's a nice big circle that the people can walk around and uh, check out the turtles from all different angles so i quite like that it's a nice little centerpiece and then i just finally added in our bear enclosure once again uh, i was just it didn't feel right not doing the bears that's what our whole first impressions of the game were was building up the bears so we gotta have the bears the grizzly bears are back but uh this time we gave them snow because the grizzly bears do like snow so i'm much happier with this enclosure this time around look at the the space they need is uh 870 out of 800 again i had the same problem i built this thing up brought him in here and he's like uh i'm happy with this amount of space we brought in the female and she needed it to be bigger so i expanded it by basically from here outward so i just moved the wall over one and now they're both happy about that space but still frustrating you never know how much space you're going to need and, and it constantly expands so this time somebody made a comment and were laughing that like my uh what was his name varden or something he wasn't very fertile or fertile but this one is or how do we see his stats his appeal physical stats oh there it is right there fertility so he's got a 66 percent fertility rate however our female isn't as fortunate but Hopefully that's enough for him to want to try to mate with her and maybe we'll get lucky and get some little bear cubs. That would be amazing. That's I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and nobody's breeding in my and none of my zoos for the entire period of me playing this game. I haven't seen anything uh, be born yet. I mean, they still haven't figured out who the alpha is. This is absolutely insane. They've just been fighting and fighting and fighting. He's taking a big dookie. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> so one thing I've been doing in the past episodes, because I'm so jump cutty and I've been doing so many jump cuts, building jump cut, it's been a lot of editing. I, I gotta say, the amount of time that I've gotten play versus how much I've edited, I've done more time editing and jump cutting. So I'm trying to talk a lot in this one so that there's less jump cuts and then I can keep the sound effects. Because when you're jump cutting around a lot, the, the sound effects get chopped up, the music gets chopped up, and it just becomes a mess. So I did download the uh, Planet Zoo soundtrack and I just ran that in the back and deleted the sound effects from my previous videos. This time around, I'll just have have it the way it is. And I think for this episode, uh, I'm talking lots, so there shouldn't be much jump cuts. But now you get to hear things uh, as they are. And speaking of which, I should probably get the volume up. There we go. Volume is up a little bit. Our bears are being fed this time around. They just ate all the food. So health-wise, oh, habitat. 
cleanliness. They are dirty, dirty, dirty. Do we have a, a keeper? Or is it a keeper? Caretaker. How do we call the caretaker to come clean? That's something I haven't quite learnt yet. Yeah, I want I want a caretaker to come clean this thing. Call vet, call keeper. Uh, does the caretakers not clean the pens? Hmm. Is that the keeper's job? I guess so. So the caretaker must just sweep up the uh, pathways and stuff. So yeah, looking at my grizzly den, I, I actually kind of put the den down into the ground a bit. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Habitat, we forgot to give them a bed. Whoa, that's too big. <laughs> I, I, I think that'll do. Just one big bed? I mean, we, hmm, maybe, maybe two medium beds. Well, I do feel like we have such a large bear. That worked. It didn't make a hole in it. Kind of took a chip out the side there though. I'm not too happy about that. There we go. Can we move this one just a nudge? Nope. All right, that should be okay. I'm okay with that. So yeah, they, we have a, a better den this time around, I would say. It's got some snow on top. We got lots of bushes. Now, one thing I really like about the uh, bear compared to the boars, ostriches, and uh, different things that we were playing around with the last episode, the, the bears really like a lot of decorations. So as you can see, we, we, had, we had some time to decorate all the corners and the backside and even put some flowers in and got, do a lot of terrain work doing a little kind of like swampy area or the lakeside thing they love to go swimming even though it says that they don't care about water they don't have a preference they don't need it but they don't hate it either but uh, i love it i love seeing them go for a little dip so we got our water we got our den we got snow a nice viewing area for all the guests it's it's a spacious area but just big enough so we're not going overboard this time around and same can be said for our wolves den so it's really awesome it's looking good and just in the time of making this video we started at 6,000 we're up to 21,000 now one thing I noticed and uh, this is for anyone who's playing the beta right now when you go to your zoo overview every time you log back in after saving and quitting your ticket price is reset so that's another reason we went bankrupt because we had the default three dollar ticket price and uh my guests were saying here uh oh the the price to get into the park is underpriced i wonder if they're still saying that though this thing doesn't update enough and i was like what do you mean it's underpriced i charged fifty dollars and i went and looked at it and i was like oh it's only three dollars so yeah you uh, <laughs> apparently this resets every time you come back into the game and that could really hurt your income a lot and that was definitely one of the issues we went bankrupt but that wasn't just it when we took out that loan crazy stuff was happening the loans are bugged out everybody that i've talked to on discord is saying that they they tried the loans and like they started getting t tons of damage to their income uh, there was something crazy going on where it was charging me the full loan amount in payback every single month. Yeah, something was going on that caused us to go bankrupt. I saw a post online where some guy went $7 billion in debt in the matter of 10 minutes. Basically was like, oh, making profits, but I want to take out a loan because I, I just want to build like this big area. Took out a loan and then suddenly, boom, he was in the negative by like billions. So uh, if you're playing the beta, do not mess around with the loans. Do something small like what I did. I started off with the wolves, did the turtles, and I started making a profit. Made my way up to about $6,000, built this area, and then I was down to zero. Then I started recording this video, and in that time, we've already made $23,000. So hooray! We have a profitable zoo. Is there any other updates I want to give you guys other than the... Uh, I mean, like, yeah, turning up the prices on some of these things has been helpful. Oh, the keepers. Do not give them a work area. Uh, because that the work areas are only good if you have massive parks. So you're like, okay, this keeper's in this area, this keeper's in this area, this keeper's in this area. That's when you want the work areas, the, the kind of the work rosters or whatever. Because, yeah, they... Right now, one keeper can tend to all three of these exhibits. And uh, we, we're making a guess that it's probably about one keeper per three exhibits. If you look here, the keepers are $1,000 a month. And I kind of bumped down their price. Like if you just notch it down, you see the thumbs down. I've been figuring out what the absolute bare minimum I can pay these guys is. So I have one caretaker, one keeper, one mechanic, one security guard. Uh, four vendors for three shops. That means if somebody takes a break or needs to rest, 
then we, we can kind of like fill them in with someone else. So they can kind of alternate. That way my shops aren't closed down. Because these guys are only 230 a month. So it's not as detrimental. And then we have one vet. Now training them, they want like double the wage if you train them. So that's the equivalent of having a second one. I would rather have a second one than get train somebody and have to pay them double. So until your park is gigantic and thriving, keep things to the absolute bare minimum because, uh, yeah, the, basically it'll make you go bankrupt. That was another thing that was kind of hurting our economy there. Uh, really sad stuff. So that's pretty much everything. Getting that park price up and making sure it's up every time you re-log in. Uh, you you got to reset your prices. Very important. How many guests do we have? We have 382. Quite a lot of guests in this area. So I'm pretty excited. We're back. We're thriving. Making money, which means with this $25,000, I can start thinking about doing some major expansions and some major theming as well. Uh, one thing that's been suffering in my park so far has been the decorations and making things look very lush and pretty. That's just simply because we've always been worrying and struggling with our uh, economy. And now that's not so much of a struggle anymore. So I'm pretty excited. This is where I'm at. Um, in terms of the let's play, the let's build, I mean, it's, it's been really nice to just do this episode and take you guys on a tour and explain things to you. Uh, doing the uh, actual building on the fly and then editing that after, it's really slowing down my progress and ability to actually play the game. It's been out for a few days now. Uh, at the time of you guys watching this video, it would be a, a lot longer than that. I'm trying to do one video a day, but I'm having a hard time keeping up because they take so long to edit down. Because I'm sitting here on three hours of recordings and then I gotta chop, 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 chop it down to like 40 minutes. And it's a lot, a lot of work. So I don't know. I don't know what I wanna do with the series going forward. Do you guys want to watch me build if uh, that's something you liked seeing? Me building and talking and building and talking. Or maybe we could try doing a speed build. I just record and then speed it up to eight times speed then talk over it after my only problem with the speed builds in this game is essentially we're sitting here fiddling and i'm sitting here looking at the bear's stats and then looking at what he needs and then i'm going over to the uh you know the the zoopedia and then i'm reading stuff and i don't think that translates very well in a speed build it's not like i have infinite money and i can just sit here build 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 i really have to micromanage so the way i've been doing it is the way that i figured it would work best it's been working out okay I just want to find a way where I can really get this zoo going and build something big before the bait is done. So I think what we'll do is I'll build up more of this area and we'll do another update video. And hopefully by then I can see some comments, see what you guys think. If you really want to hear me talk as I build, it's it, I found it pretty entertaining, but also a lot of work to edit. But it would be nice to just come in here after and watch the animals, take some time. Check out what they're doing, you know, show you guys my, around my park. Oh, look at that throw. <laughs> yeah, take take our time, look around the park, see what I've done, and kind of treat it as a park spotlight. And I think that is good. We can alternate between. Um, I'll build up another area, and then if I'm feeling up to it and we have a ton of money, I'll do another let's build with jump cuts and stuff. Um, well, we'll try it out. We'll figure it out. But I like, I like this format for this episode here, catching you guys all up, taking a look at what we've done. It's uh, very fun. So that's pretty much it. It's a 20 minute update video, you guys, teaching you my uh, what I learned, what I did wrong, where our improvements are. And I'm really just honestly trying to kill time and talk while we bank some more cash. So I can, once, once this recording's done, I can get in here and try to make something really nice and just expand upon that. So hopefully in the next video, you guys will see a whole bunch more enclosures, animals and fun stuff. Boom. All right, everybody, let me know your thoughts, comments down below. I'm pretty feeling excited, positive. You can hear it in my voice. I'm super thrilled about this zoo going forward, and it looks promising. So, again, keep leaving your comments. I love reading your comments. I want to know still what kind of animal centers or uh, areas you guys want to see. I'm thinking we got to try out the monkey pen. What do we have available to us? We got to do the monkeys. Uh, I wasn't a big fan of the boars, or the, the warthogs. I think we could try some lizards. Uh, I want to do something with the peafowls. We got to have something with the peafowls, but there's not a whole lot available to us. The beta is very limited right now. So I'll do what I can. Then maybe once, once we get to a point where this thing's thriving, we can do an episode where we just like build a building or something. Yeah, figure it out. 
boom there you guys go that's gonna do it for me here in this video if you guys enjoyed please be sure to smash that like button if you're new here be sure to subscribe for more daily planet coaster and planet zoo content and, and be sure to join us on discord we have tons of thousands of planet coaster planet zoo members ready to share their screenshots and builds with you and if you guys enjoy all the content that i do on the show please do consider becoming a patron your support is greatly appreciated boom and that's going to do it for me here today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.